And so on sensing and simulation, this gets really interesting because quantum is, can, one thing it is good at for is like really precise, like precision sensing. And when it comes to outer space in orbital forces, you're gonna want that precision. You're gonna want that precision big time. <laughs> um, so, so that's so that's another thing like outside of the the compute. Is is there, is there gonna be such a thing in the future where like like uh, mining minerals on asteroids? Is, is that gonna be a thing you think? There's already people working on that. Okay. Um, there's also already people working on launching orbital data center nodes, and I'm gonna give you the really quick, not rocket science, uh, data center expert. That they said I was paying attention. They said we're gonna have these data center nodes in space because space is cold and we won't have to deal with overheating. Ooh. And space has a power source called the sun. That's genius. And that's why they're going to do our real data centers. And I'm like, oh, I see, I follow that. That was a great explain like I'm five. <laughs> have y'all invested in or, or looking to invest in any space tech thing at Barclow? Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely something that's on the table. Like I said, just because of that sensing, simulation, and even like edge computing. Remember I mentioned there's like the 10 types of, there's edge computing where it's like we are going to have to figure out like stuff on device, which is, there's a lot of satellite stuff that runs on edge compute. And then when it comes to useful quantum computing, you kind of need to have high performance compute right there. You're gonna need a whole lot of horsepower to, to wrangle what you get from those sensors and to run these kind of simulations.